I got involved with Kit the Dust um, nearly two years ago. Uh, so I've been doing the Dragon's Den uh, trips out to heritage places. And then I've been doing um, shortlisting and events like planning the heritage open days. Hi, my name's Juliette Martin. I'm the manager of the Y Heritage Project. And Y Heritage is one of 12 projects nationally that come under the umbrella title, Kick the Dust. And Kick the Dust is a project that's funded by the National Heritage Lottery Fund. Well, here in Leicester, Y Heritage has been enabling young people to go on all sorts of visits and to take part in activities um, that are all related to heritage activities. So we've been taking young people to battlefields and museums and archaeological sites, um, places that they might never have thought that they would be able to go to and to be comfortable and to work there. So we're really excited about supporting young people to engage in that kind of interesting activity. We've also been working with heritage organisations um, and encouraging them to engage with young people, recognising that young people are the future of their organisations. So don't shy away from working with young people, embrace working with young people. Uh, yeah, so before I moved into the Y, I didn't really know much about anything to do with heritage and that stuff. And then I've moved in and I've got involved quite a lot and then we've got a lot of young people involved with over the last few years. Um, we went to Holt Hall last year and we got to meet the Kitty Dust project in um, YMCA at um, Norwich. So it was nice just to meet them and get to know how they do their version of the same project. Uh, just for it to be like people know that young people do care about heritage and that they can enjoy themselves while learning about historical events. Well, I've been involved in the project for around two years now and I've had some brilliant experiences working with adults and other young people to make heritage interesting and also been involved in some event planning and shortlistings of projects as well. When the Y Heritage is over, I like the legacy to be the culture of the heritage and the young people being a part of it. Hello, my name is George Williams and may I warmly welcome you to the Leicester's Y Heritage Open Day Tour. Please let the young people of the Y Heritage Kick the Dust project take you on a journey through our history here in Leicester. I do hope you enjoy the show and please take the time to share your thoughts at the end while enjoying a cup of tea at the Great War Hut. I founded the Young Men's Christian Association in 1844 in London. I was appalled by the terrible conditions for young working men, so I gathered together a group of my fellow drapers. Our aim was to substitute life on the streets for prayer and Bible study. The YMCA was unusual because it was ecumenical, meaning it brought together Christians of different denominations. As we expanded, we recognised that it should serve not just Christians, but all people who needed support. By its 50th anniversary, the YMCA had become so significant that I received a knighthood from Queen Victoria. The Leicester Association began with premises in Marketplace in 1883 with Mr Thomas Howard Lloyd as president. He said, these premises were inadequate for the increasing...